Happy New Year and welcome back to the Tesla space. On today's episode, we have Tesla smashing production records yet again. New rumors on Giga Texas launching this week. Upgraded features for the Model 3 and Y. A new timeline for the orbital Starship launch. Tesla's pushback against solar panel penalties in California. And their new sponsorship for electric car racing. So let's get going. The results are in and Tesla have yet again exceeded expectations and smashed delivery records for their electric vehicles. With over 308,000 deliveries in Q4 2021, Tesla has reached a total for the year of over 936,000 cars delivered in 2021. Now that's not quite the 1 million car bull case that many of us were hoping for at the beginning of last year, but it's pretty damn close. And given the massive setbacks that have hit the company throughout 2021, this is a pretty spectacular performance. Looking at the breakdown by vehicle type, we can see that Tesla only delivered just under 25,000 Model S and Model X vehicles in the year, while Model 3 and Y accounted for 911,208 vehicles delivered in 2021. These numbers easily beat consensus estimates from Wall Street financial analysts who projected Tesla delivering 267,000 vehicles in the fourth quarter and 897,000 for the full year of 2021. All told, annual vehicle deliveries were up 87% in 2021 over 2020, when the company delivered just under 500,000 cars. Here's another one for the rumor mill. Joe Tegmeyer, not sure if that's how you pronounce it, sorry if it's wrong, is one of a few YouTubers who regularly flies drones over the Giga Texas construction site and posts progress updates. He tweeted on December 31st that he heard on site about production at Giga Texas beginning next week, which would now be this week. So vehicle production could be happening at the factory right now as we speak, according to some construction worker that Joe spoke with, I guess. I don't know how seriously this should be taken, but just for fun, the report says that Model Y production begins the week of January 2nd at the Austin factory, that Tesla employees are already driving finished Model Y cars inside the factory, and several completed Model Ys have already been shipped out of Texas for crash testing and other testing. He also says that Cybertruck production equipment and materials are already arriving at the factory site, but are being stored away inside the main building for future assembly and installation later in this year. Now, Joe did spot some Model Y bodies at the site with his drone on December 27th, and these are pretty interesting because we can clearly see that the body and frame are assembled, but there is no floor at all. So this Model Y body must be destined for a structural battery pack with 4680 cells which we know functions as the floor and seat mounts inside the car. Though at this point, there is still nothing to indicate that there are fully assembled and functional Model Ys inside the building, so we will just have to wait and see. Joe also posted a video on January 1st that showed the entire Giga Austin progress over the course of 2021, and it is actually pretty spectacular. Just the sheer amount of work that was completed in one year on such a massive factory is pretty mind-blowing. Either way, some really cool stuff is happening for Tesla in Austin this year, whether it's right now or sometime very soon. But before we get into the next part of the video, I'd like to take a minute to tell you about our newest sponsor, Masterworks. I recently had the opportunity to visit Christie's in New York to view their 21st century sale that grossed over $200 million in proceeds. So this is something I'm particularly passionate about and excited to share. Typically, this has been an asset class reserved only for the wealthy, but Masterworks makes it possible for everyone. Two thirds of billionaires 
owners allocate 10 to 30% of their portfolio to art. And there was roughly $1.7 trillion worth of art held around the world. And it's expected to grow by 900 billion by 2026. Contemporary art has even outpaced the S&P 500 total return by 174% from 1995 to 2020. So opening this up to become available for everyone is something I believe is important. Masterworks is one of the largest buyers in the art market today with 75 years of art buying experience and plans to spend $400 million next year. Founded in 2017 by a top 100 art collector and tech entrepreneurs who have founded companies valued at $1 billion, they've created a way for everyday people to invest in artists such as Andy Warhol, Banksy, Picasso, and more. What I really love about Masterworks is that anyone can buy fractions of an art piece with an active secondary market to buy and sell shares of artwork similar to buying shares in a company. Most recently, Masterworks sold Banksy's Mona Lisa and investors of the piece saw a net annualized return of 32%. As of right now, Masterworks has over 250,000 people signed up for the platform and there is a lot of demand, but you can skip the waitlist by clicking on our link found in the description below to sign up today. And now let's get back to the video. Tesla has introduced the new AMD Ryzen chip and 12 volt lithium ion battery in Model 3 and Model Y vehicles made in the USA. This is something that we first got word of a couple of weeks back in a leak from Tesla Europe. Amongst many things, the leak revealed that new Model 3 and Model Y vehicles coming to Europe, which are made in China, would come with the same AMD Ryzen chip that is powering the media computer in the new Model S and Model X and the Model Y performance made in China. Also, the lead acid 12 volt battery will change to a lithium ion battery system. We already know that this new AMD chip offers very similar processing power to a PlayStation 5 gaming console, which is a pretty substantial upgrade over the previous Intel Atom chip that powered the Model 3 and Y center display. The new system can load apps about twice as fast as before and shows much smoother performance and shorter buffering time in the navigation and maps program. As for the new battery, the best part about these new 12 volt cells is that they won't fail like many of the lead acid batteries in previous Tesla vehicles, and that's just one less pain in the ass to deal with, which is obviously great. We've learned that the US Federal Aviation Administration is now at least two months behind schedule on an environmental review that must be completed before SpaceX will be allowed to attempt the first orbital Starship launch. We had originally been told in November that the review process would be complete by December 31st, 2021, but just a few days ago, that timeline was revised to February 28th, 2022. In a statement, the agency says, quote, under the oversight of the FAA, SpaceX is currently drafting responses for the over 18,000 public comments received on the draft PEA and continues to prepare the final PEA for the FAA's review and acceptance. In addition, the FAA is continuing consultation and coordination with other agencies at the local, state, and federal level. The environmental review is just one part of the FAA commercial space licensing process. SpaceX's license application must also meet FAA safety, risk, and financial responsibility requirements. So that's not great news. It kind of seems like they are shoving off the responsibility onto the large number of comments that they received. And to be fair, 18,000 is a lot. And I can imagine most of those are going to either be from SpaceX fanboys or Elon Musk caters, which would probably be exhausting to read through all day. But that means that Elon's hopeful timeline of getting the first launch in January or February is not going to happen which is a bummer. But at the same time, this is an unprecedented launch of the biggest and most powerful rocket in history. So it's probably not bad that these things have a lengthy approval process. Either way, there is still a lot of work to be done at Starbase with multiple static fire tests left to be done on the super heavy B4 booster. The tank farm still needs to be filled with methane and the robot arms on the launch tower still haven't really been tested out either. 
So if anything, the more time that SpaceX has to work on this stuff, the more likely the first launch will be a success. Tesla is rallying its employees to fight back against California's new NEM 3.0 proposal that could potentially destroy the solar panel market. NEM 3.0 is a controversial proposal from the California Public Utilities Commission that would introduce some massive changes to net metering for solar customers of the three major electric utilities in the state. The credit for energy that residential solar owners put back into the grid would be slashed to a wholesale rate of just about four cents per kilowatt hour. This would destroy the value of residential solar in California, especially for those who don't have a home energy storage system like a Tesla Powerwall. On top of slashing net metering rates, the NEM 3.0 proposal adds a new fixed monthly charge for solar owners of $8 per kilowatt of solar cells installed on their roof. It means that someone with a 10 kilowatt system has to pay 80 bucks per month to their electric utility just to stay connected to the grid and send back electricity at a new lower rate which uh, in simple terms sucks. Unless you can go completely off grid and cut your utilities provider entirely, then there would be no cost advantage to going with solar energy under this new scheme. Tesla, who is aiming to become a major decentralized electric utility with its solar and battery system, is now voicing its opposition to the proposal and asking employees in California to contact the CPUC to let them know they are against the proposal. In a communication to staff, the company wrote, quote, Tesla is working with our partners in the solar and environmental community to urge the CPUC and governor's office to adopt a more reasonable approach that doesn't punish solar customers, end quote. In addition to other measures, Tesla is encouraging their staff and supporters to attend Save Our Solar rallies that will be happening on January 13th in both San Francisco and Los Angeles. We know that Tesla doesn't do formal advertising, but we've recently heard that the company is going to start sponsoring Formula SAE electric racing teams with free battery cells and discounted hardware. Formula SAE is an organization that puts together student competitions in the field of mobility. The aim is basically to design, build, and test their own homemade race car. Over the last decade, electric vehicles have become popular with the teams of student engineers entering the contests. Tesla has also been hiring a lot of students who participated in Formula SAE competitions after the fact. Now the automaker wants to get involved earlier in the process and directly sponsor some teams. John Furtado, a staff mechanical design engineer at Tesla wrote, as a part of Tesla's mission to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy, we will be supporting university student teams aspiring to build electric vehicles as part of Formula SAE and Formula student competitions around the world. The automaker will offer two options to the teams that it will sponsor. They can choose to get up to 1,000 high-performance 18650 cylindrical Tesla battery cells or a heavy discount on pre-built modules and other hardware supplied by Enipac, a company that makes custom components for Tesla prototypes. And lastly, Tesla said that it will also offer sponsored teams the opportunity to review their designs with some of the world's leading electric powertrain engineers and will provide guidance through the design and validation process. So that's pretty awesome to see Tesla is investing in the future of engineering talent and making electric vehicle technology a bit more accessible to that developing talent. For more Tesla news delivered straight to your inbox, make sure to subscribe to our Tesla Space newsletter. We keep you up to date on all things Elon Musk, Tesla, SpaceX, Neuralink, and Boring Company in one quick and fun to read package. Link in the description to sign up, it's theteslaspace.com. And make sure to drag our emails over into your primary inbox so we don't get lost in the promotions tab. Also, don't forget to check out our new Space Race channel and subscribe over there for even more space exploration content. As always, if you wanna to continue to learn about everything regarding Tesla, SpaceX, and Elon Musk, we've got two more video options for you on the screen to check out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it and subscribe to our channel for weekly content just like this.